Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel with self cut 3D modeling basic tutorial. Today I will create a 3D RAM tire. First uh, I will uh, insert the reference image. Okay, I will use uh, this uh, image and we click open. I will change opacity into this point and you can close this reference image. We can change into top view. Okay, you can change in here into top view. Next I will use a 3D sketch. We can use uh, this line tools to create a sketch from uh, this uh, image. Okay, I will click at this point. You move uh, to the top. You can follow create uh, to the sketch with uh, this uh, reference image. So it will be easy to create a uh, profile. Next, uh, we can use a uh, revolve command to convert into 3D models. In this case, uh, we create uh, three profile. Okay, this uh, for the first profile, we use uh, with uh, line tools. Okay, you also can get uh, this uh, reference image from our site, mupasuket.com, or you can search in uh, Google, Google Image. There are a lot of uh, reference image that you can use to create 3D RIM. Okay, almost done for uh, this uh, example uh, profile. Okay, this uh, for the first uh, profile. Next, uh, I will uncheck this profile. We create uh, another profile with uh, line tools. We can start uh, from this point. Okay, next move to this point. We click at this point. Move again into here. Okay, I will uh, connect into here. So uh, you can undo and click again in here into this point okay next uh, move to the bottom this uh, for the second profile okay in here I will uh, click at this point okay we can move into here Okay, sorry, uh, we undo in here, and I will connect into here, this point. Okay, now uh, we are ready. This uh, second profile, you can uncheck uh, this profile, and we create uh, the third profile with uh, this line tools. Okay, I will click at this point, move into here. Okay, move into center in here. Next, we click at this point. Okay, move in here and the last we click at this point so uh, we already create uh, this uh, third profile next uh, I will close uh, this uh, landscape okay we can uh, select uh, this uh, three profile and we can move uh, to the top to this point okay now uh, to convert uh, this uh, profile into 3d models we can use a uh, loop tools Sorry, uh, we can use a uh, revolve tools. You can click uh, this uh, sketch, and next I will use a uh, revolve. You can click here revolve. Okay, I will uncheck uh, this hide all objects, and you can click a uh, revolve around edge. You can click at uh, this uh, point, and you can uh, change segment into 200. Okay, angle 360 degree. You can click OK to apply. So. The next, uh, we select first uh, this profile and then click uh, revolve. Next, uh, we uncheck again this hide all objects. Click uh, revolve around edge. We can click at uh, this point. I will revolve in here, like into 52. Okay, this okay. You can click OK to apply. The last, uh, we can revolve uh, these objects. You can click uh, this uh, profile. Click revolve again, and then I will uh, use uh, revolve around edge. We can click at this point. We can change uh, angle in here into 360 degree, and you can click OK to apply. So uh, we already created uh, these uh, three models. Next, I will select uh, these uh, three objects. We can use a uh, rotate command to rotate in blue axis. Okay, I will rotate into. Uh, 
270 degree okay now I will change into top view I will check in here and I will create a simple profile with uh, this image we can use it to disket and then I will use a line tools we can create line okay I will create line start from this point move into this point okay click in here and click again in here move into here next you can click at this point okay you can close uh, this uh, sketch okay we already created uh, this uh, simple profile and we can use uh, fill polygon to create a polygon okay you can click here fill polygons and next we can use uh, extrusion command to extrude uh, these objects I will extrude into this point okay, you can click ok to apply next uh, we can click again this object and use a uh, fill polygons okay you can move uh, these objects into here and we can change into top view I will uh, select uh, these objects you can use a uh, move tools I will move into here next uh, we can use a uh, rotate tools to rotate uh, this object in a green axis okay to this point and we can move again from this point into here okay now uh, we can use uh, intersect command to cut uh, these uh, two objects okay, you can select uh, these two objects click state and scoop and we use uh, this intersect command okay it will be intersects you can click ok to apply now uh, we can use uh, fill polygon again to create uh, 3d models okay so it will be create 3d models like this next uh, we can use uh, copy offset to copy this object but first i will select uh, these three objects you can move into center point okay now we can change into top view i will select uh, these objects and we can use uh, copy offset you can change position into pivot and then i will uh, change the copy number in here into 12 you can click copy so it will be quite uh, this uh, copy in a uh, 12 objects you can click uh, this uh, all objects and then we can uh, click uh, merge objects to combine into one you can click here to merge objects okay it will be merged into one after it we can uh, try to see in a 3d printing uh, tools you can click here to uh, see in a 3d printing it will be create a new tab and we waiting so uh, this uh, for a 3d printing in a self cut you also can uh, edit the four dimension in here like I will change scale into uh, 50 it will be decreased into 50 percent okay if you done you can click splice in here okay this uh, for slicing 3d models okay enough today for self cut 3d modeling basic tutorial how to create a 3d ram tired if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in another self-cut 3D modeling basic tutorial.